Hello YouTube and welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. Um, yeah, we're getting back into it. <laughs> I was debating between these two rings here. One increases my companion's stats by two, and the foot's ring makes you more likely to encounter salesmen. And I feel like the salesman would be the best option here. So, uh, what were we doing, right? We just got done with the Gold Thwaite Park. Thank you for your help. It's looking ship shake. Oh, it was nothing. Um, what were we gonna do after this? I have no idea. I feel like there was something I was missing. Do I have any new hats that <laughs> I need to get pictures of? I have a broke... I got a hat from that broken coconut? That's awesome. Can't remember where you got it. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Um, okay, the hat lining isn't an actual hat. Well, I can go get a picture real quick, and we might encounter a salesman now that we have this thing on. Hands the air, Bucko, you're on Tim Lizzie turf, and this is a stick-up. You see, turn to see woman in oil-stained coveralls pointing a gun-like tool in your direction. What the? Is that a caulking gun? A stick-up isn't usually such a literal phrase. Actually, it's a grease gun, so I guess it's more like a slick-up. Haha! <laughs> Gross. Everybody's a critic. Give me your wallet. <laughs> Grab her gun. You pull out your wallet and nervously fumble it, dropping it at the woman's feet. When she scowls and reaches for it, you swiftly grab her wrist and twist the grease gun out of her hand. Hey! Looks like the grease is on the other, um, lug nut. Honestly, I don't know anything about cars. You're gonna regret messing with the tin lizzies. I'm gonna regret touching this filthy grease gun more. Go on, scram. I get a gun! This isn't really intended to be used as a weapon, but that's never stopped you before. Deals moxie plus two. Nice and smooth. See, this is why I haven't taken the opportunity to organize my inventory, is because I just keep getting new items. Okay, so Moxie plus two, that's seven. Whereas the sword is doing five, six, seven, and one bleeding. So I'm going to keep the sword on. Uh, but we have a hat to do. Broken coconut. Nice, we get a free 30 meat. Still, weirdly enough, the fedora is just so good because it's plus stat and plus um, max HP. And plus five to max HP is a pretty big deal. Now, the Fridge Factory is where the main quest is still going on, but I'm having so much fun doing the side quests, we're going to go to the Tentacle House. That I think I discovered, like, several hours ago or something. As you're walking through Ocean City, you see a couple of stranded motorists trying to change a car tire. Their efforts aren't around to squat, though, because they don't have a jack. Lift the car for them. You... I... Why couldn't Gabby do that? You hold the car long enough for them to change the tire. Modern cars don't actually weigh all that much. Nice. Oh, God, that is gross. That's very gross. Either someone's pet Kraken escaped, or someone opened a portal to the Wackle Dimension. <laughs> Go, wait, wait. Enter. Oh, my God, really? This is the front door that comes. Oh, I wanted to see if there was, like, a part three to the joke. I wanted to reread the first part. Okay. It seems like the house used to be quite nice. Tall ceilings, nice wallpaper, fancy molding everywhere. Now, however, the wallpaper is really in the plaster is crumbling, and there's tentacles poking out of her. It's a real fixer-upper. Hello, anyone call for a tentacle exterminator? I don't think anyone called for a tentacle exterminator, but if you want to do some pro bono extermination anyway, I also don't think anyone's going to stop you. Except maybe the tentacles. Oh, so the whole thing is we just fight them. Oh, wow. Oh, God, there's spiders. Oh, swell. A massive colony of roaches in the walls. This house is a real peach. Uh, what did this stove say? No, the stove said something. What did it say? The stove is remarkably clean on the outside. Check the inside. Ah, uh, yes, all filth on the inside. <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. Okay, well, there's... I guess this is just a huge fighting area. They don't seem that very strong. Where's my mouse? Throw a rock at you, and then Gabby can finish you off. You're gonna get sorted in the thwip in the face. ka -chow. And then... Wet slap! <laughs> and then Gabby has the flap slap. And that was incredibly easy. You sliced him and diced him. Tentacle skin hat band. You're not entirely sure that the inside of a tentacle is any different than the outside, but if it is, then this is some of the outside part. Plus, add one spooky armor. And the turtle is better. Delicious was the answer to that. 
Uh, there is exactly one drawer left intact. A wise person said that fishing is not a good use of time, but that person probably didn't get, have as much spare time as you. Uh, check it. Jackpot is a junk drawer. You grab the choicest bits. Junk mail is a new technology that allows trash to be distributed to everybody so that we can all share the effort of throwing it away. <laughs> Self-adhesive rivets. Uh, it's always good to have some of these on hand in case you want to do some emergency pants repair. Adds one physical armor to a pair of pants. Now, I can upgrade all my gear and stuff, but and my armor, but again, I'm always getting new stuff, and I don't think I can take these off of a pair of pants. Alright, salty fishing rod. Nice, you caught a bit of wet potato, you toss it in. <laughs> wet potato? Okay, more potato. Why is there wet potato in here? Soggy dish wreck. Looks like you got. Oh, that was so useful for fishing. This refrigerator almost certainly contains horrors beyond your reckoning. Give me them! Oh, no, no horrors. Just some very old food. Nasty old enough to Oh, yeah, these things. I don't really use them. Uh, I think that's about everything in here. Tentacross bathroom. It's twelve years old and damaged, but it appears to be still functional. <laughs> Hooray! I flushed the toilet. This sink has a cracked bowl and a grubby tap. Investigate. Look again, somebody lost a ring in the drain. Unfortunately, your fingers are just long enough to grab it. Thunder ring. When you're wearing this, lightning always rides shotgun. <laughs> makes you makes it dangerous to be near you in combat. Well, I need to know what this does immediately. This bathtub is filled with a fluid you'd rather not consider. Consider it fished. <laughs> you unclog the- Ew. Ew. Glob of wet hair. This would be disgusting even if it wasn't wet. Reduces an enemy's must. So gross items just lower enemy's stats. Okay, so how does this make me dangerous? Three tentacles have erupted from the floorboards. Interrupt the eruptors. Oh my god! <laughs> Why would I want this ring? Okay, seven, seven, eight. Tends to fling slime at Tressled. Uh, I can still one shot. Wait, this does nine damage. I thought it was doing seven and then one bleeding. That's super strong. Okay, what is? Let's uh, rock the first one and then stab the second one. And then we get wet slapped. <laughs> and then Gabby does the flap slap. And then he'll do the wet slap. And then Gabby is dead. Oh! <laughs> Why? What is the purpose of this ring? This doesn't make any sense. Three down, God knows how many to go. Okay, we got another hat band. Excellent. What? <laughs> I mean, it's not hitting the enemies, so I assume that's what it could be useful for. <laughs> but the fact that it hits me is so stupid. Okay, well, let's go back to the foot ring. Actually, you know, we're in combat, so let's use the inspired ring. I think that's what it is. Store is locked. Gab with Gabby. How you doing? Flap your gums. You're a firecracker. Okay, I think this is the same exact thing. That we've seen before. Um, I believe that's everything down here. Let's head upstairs. Rickety stairs lead up to the second floor. The tentacle house. A surprisingly clean wardrobe. Check inside. Empty for a single hanger. You're not sure why anybody would want to wear a coat made of wire, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, it's a it's a wire coat. Uh, what is the purpose of this? <laughs> Even the second story is infested with tentacles. That's a very nice sound effect. That kind of scared me, honestly. Because we got seven, eight, twelve. Jeez. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, I can't one shot it, but I can do one bleeding. Okay, so he's gonna increase stats, he's gonna do damage, he's gonna do damage. 
This guy's the priority. And then this guy's the non-priority. Can I just say, this game would be exceptional on, like, a Switch or something. I don't know why, it just has that vibe to it. Like, I can totally just see myself having this, like, on a handheld device very easily. Nice. You've rendered this room very slightly less terrible, as is my sworn duty. As I stand, it's mercifully tentacle-free. Uh, the top drawer is filled with dirty handkerchiefs, blech, but you find a jewelry box and a key in the bottom one. The small jewelry box, which will come in handy if you need to move some jewelry from place to place and you don't want to wear it on the trip. You found this key in a nightstand. It's a quest item. This door is barred from the other side. If the bar is anything like the rest of this house, it won't take much to break it. Break it down. <laughs> okay, that's a little harder than expected going in. Oh, there's nothing in here. Okay. It's nice and it's battered, but mostly intact. The bottom drawer is full of old horse track bedding forms, and the top one contains a wallet and a creepy locket, each with only a middle amount of crud on them. The inscription reads, Melinda, my love, but the picture is just a crude drawing of a single eye. A leather wallet, worn thin from years of being sat on. Maybe there's some meat left in it. Wow, that's a lot of meat. I like money. Money is pretty cool. Spooky armor. What is my accessory? The sungle, plus one moxie, plus two spooky armor. Sticality. I don't think I need that. What is my sword based on? It deals on moxie, and my sunglasses have moxie. So... We're keeping the sunglasses on, plus they look cool. This bed has a fallen victim to especially hungry bed bugs. This mirror has to your great surprise avoided damage. I trestled. Looking good. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Why? I <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Freak out. Close your eyes. Go back to normal. Uh, termites have conspired to make it look like this wardrobe has been has had one giant bite taken out of it instead of thousands of tiny ones. Hardly anything left of whatever this was. Well, why did I come in here? I guess there was a wallet, but oh, ironically, this house's backyard looks really nice. That cannot be everything in here, right? I found a key. But a key to what? You can't even begin to guess what kind of furniture this is. Sure, I can. Okay, then smarty pants. What do you think it was? Um, a game table? Is it a lawn chair or a picnic table? A game table. Nope, guess again. Uh, well, um, it was a canopy bed. Um, a chest. Nope. Was it a footrest? A uh, ladder back chair. Uh, a th it was a lounger. A secretary. A cart? A captain's chair, uh, a lintel, a chase l or wing chair, clothes valet, a cot, or a cupboard, a hammock, give up. I told you you couldn't guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's in a room. There's no bed in this room, so I'm assuming it was a bed. Plus, this is a bedside table, the nightstand, so this is a bed. A glider rocker. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to actually lead anywhere. A t what's a Tonsu? An Ottoman. It's a canopy bed. Alright, I, I don't think it is. Okay. I must be miss- Oh, it's the locked door down here. You leave the lock in the key for safekeeping. Are you I said that backwards. Don't worry about it. Jeez, it's dark down here. By using spam techniques, I can see two directions at once. Oh, wait, what does that say? A uh, shuffle. The cellar is way too dark for you to go any further. Yes, you have a flashlight, but you and I both know the flashlights are only good for making dark places visible, not for making them any less scary. <laughs> a shelf full of long expired cleaning products. Oh, that is scary. Fuse box. All the fuses are missing, that explains the lights, I guess. Insert one. I mean, I do have a fuse. Where did I get this, though? Did I get that from the park? 
All right now it's slightly less dark. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Is that a rat that's upside down? Holy dang, what is that thing? <laughs> oh god. Rat tentacle thing. 10 damage. He 30 HP. This is like our first actual boss fight. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think I have to actually use my brain here and use items. Okay. Okay, decrease the by three, three. Heal, heal. I haven't used my damage like ever. Well, I need to deal damage as quickly as possible to that thing, because that does the most damage. Or should I take care of the weak ones first? Uh, I don't know. I think I should take care of the weak ones first. That makes the most sense to me. So a little 12 and 8. I can one-shot the 8 one. Gabby can kill this one. We can one-shot him with the sword. I wish I still had a grenade or that my lightning ring killed people. Uh, I lost my turtle, but I think I might have enough damage to be able to do this. Okay, that's just stats up. Okay, so that's 11 damage. How much HP do I have? 20. 12. 9 damage. Oh, man. Intends to do a suggestive dance. Okay. Ah, uh, shoot. I don't like how much damage either of these guys do, but I can't really stop either of them. Uh, 9. 11. I can both take one more hit. I think it'll make most sense to decrease this guy's stats first. That'll do less damage, and then I can still throw a rock at you, and then I can still stab this thing, and then Gabby might be able to finish it off. I just remembered I bleed damage. I should do that earlier in the fight. What am I doing? Okay, and then Gabby can finish this off, and then the pair of us can trounce on this rat thing together. Where did I get regen from? I don't remember in the slightest. Oh, right, the him. I forgot about that I had this thing. Usable once per fight, okay. Well, that's gonna do five plus my nine. Let's just do it. Do extra spooky damage. I am just realizing that this has six physical armor and I probably should have been paying attention to that. Is this? Oh, yeah, that's really bad, actually. Oh, shoot. How do I get through physical armor? That's a lot of damage, but this is a boss, so... That's so tanky. Okay. I can heal. I'm gonna have to... Okay, this thing is really tanky, actually. Three bleeding. That is so gross. Is there anything that, like, would decrease the physical armor? Wait. Intends to bite and heal itself. That's not fair. We just gotta stab it harder. Oh, wait, I just got it. It's because he has physical armor, but I could have been using a magical weapon instead of a physical one. That's the issue I'm having. So... Can I kill it? One, two, that's not enough. And he's gonna do still the healing himself. Shoot. I think the spear makes the most sense. And then we do the rock. And then we do the stab. And then he's still gonna heal himself, but we had all the bleeding stacked up. Nice. You won! Those tentacles have wriggled their last waggle, and that giant root and mat mutant rat probably in a better place now. Okay. That's a pretty low reward for how many items I just used to beat that thing. That guy was tanky. Ah, here's the problem. There's a hole in this bag of tentacle seeds. 
Some must have fallen onto the old dirt floor and sprouted up. <laughs> Tentacle seeds? You suppose the bag and pick up the remaining seeds. Uh, the company... Grow a tentacle a day during combat. Oh, that's super useful, actually. The combat that sells these things have never done a satisfactory job of explaining why. <laughs> this washing machine needs to be washed and repaired and completely replaced. Fish. Unpleasant trap. Mildew jeans. These jeans are twice as thick as regular jeans because of an extremely serious build of a mildew. That's really good. That's a lot of our HP. Oh, I wanted to inspect it instead of fish it, but okay. Uh, plus two sleeves versus this. That's way better. Nice. The dirtiest broom you've ever seen. Grab it. The world's dirtiest broom. <laughs> you haven't actually seen them all, but you can't imagine a dirtier one than this. Does your muscle plus two and reduces target's muscle by one. What is my muscle? It's five. Seven and reduces. I don't know. Interesting stuff. I have a lot of money. I probably have a lot of XP. Wow, that is a lot of XP, actually. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, spontaneous Gouda. Or subcutane subcutaneous Gouda. Well, I have enough for a 151. But I can get two of these. Okay, plus one Moxie. Plus magic weapons. Or I can get plus max HP. Or I can get plus XP from gathering. Oh, man. Uh, I think it makes most sense to do the 275s here. A thick layer of cheese under your skin insulates you from heat while also making you look more muscular. <laughs> plus one muscle, plus three hot armor. Yeah, sounds good. Your mind swirls with the forbidden magics of alpine dairies. Plus one moxie, plus one magic weapons. Cost by 75. Cool. Nice. You're a minimum viable person. You occupy space and are capable of moving through it and perceiving things. I don't think I ever read that. That's funny. Okay. I know I should probably look into stats and just make myself way stronger, but I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I don't think I need to do all that. Right, this is the second floor. Just a regular house. Regular house. Uh, let's wander really quick, see if there's anything interesting. You notice a strangely discolored patch of curb. Magical energy, collect sample, I got more glowing ooze. Let's wander two more times and then go to the fridge factory. Uh, found a urinal, one has been filled up with ice cubes. One of them is in a cube of frozen rock. Frosty Flakes. Okay. And one more time. Well, this would be an unusual sight if I had already seen it before. The Glockons are playing their traditional folk dance. Join them. Attack them. I think I fought these guys, but I just gave up because they just absolutely trounced on me. Okay. We've got 12, 7... 13 and 7. You're gonna buff, you're gonna hit, you're gonna buff, you're gonna hit. He's gonna hurt himself. What? Okay, well this guy's gonna do the most damage, so let's take care of him I think first. You're gonna get spookified. And then you're gonna get stabified. And Gabby, you can... You don't really need to heal me. I mean, you can just slap this guy. And then I will be able to one-shot him. Wait, that did nine damage! I thought Gab... Right! Gabby has a punch now. I forgot about that. I totally skipped over that in my head. Jeez. Okay, seven and seven. Well, either of these guys... Either of these guys can get one shot. Sometimes my mouth just gives up on speaking. Gabby is so strong now. You won. The goblin scaper away. One of them drops a piece of paper that leads to their hideout. Glockenspielery flyer. It's advertising for a Glockenspiel store. Wee. Okay. But wait, where where is that? Hold on. 
The flyer says that Gideon's Glockenspielery is your one-stop shop for Glockenspiels and Glockenspiel accessories. I don't know where Glock... Now I know where the Glockenspiel store is. Why wouldn't it just mark it for me? Let's go there. I don't want to do the main quest. I'm having fun. The paperclip salesman sees you from earlier and does another double take. How's your documents, Jack? Not flapping loose, I hope. He offers to sell you a paperclip. Increase the target's stench armor by... Th huh? That Sorry, pass. I don't need that today. Oh, I gotta get a feeling next time I'll see you, I'll be in the antique store next door. Okay. So he'll be in the antique store if I ever need him. As soon as they notice you, these Glockland guards start playing a menacing tune on their Glockenspiels. Well, a menacing a tune is possible to play on a Glockenspiel anyways. Which is honestly not particularly menacing, but their intent is clear. Talk to him. Hi, hello, what, vu, what want you? Well, I want to go look at the building behind you. I want to talk to your boss. I want to buy a Glockenspiel. I want to fight you. I want to buy a Glockenspiel. You have good taste in musical instruments, but our Glockenspiels are not for sale. Oh, come on, everything has a price. The price of a Glockenspiel is no meat. Nine meat? <laughs> That's stupid. I'll pay you nine meat for one. That joke does not work, even. <laughs> I want you to go look at the building. I want to look at the building behind you. The old Glockenspiel stop. That is our hideout. You are in there. They're not allowed. Ah, uh, please. No, it is only for gang members. And is the whole pie to have a hideout. I want to talk to your boss. Have you an appointment? No, can I make one? No. I want to fight you then. Well, I tried. Now we got 7 buffing, 12 damage, 13 damage. Uh, you're going to get shablingoed, and then you're going to get leafed in the face. I'm trying really hard to come up with new words for these things. Uh, you're gonna get smacked in the face. You're gonna do negligible damage. And then you're about to die of bleeding in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 right about now. I lied, it's actually, actually after I kill this guy. And now you're gonna... Oh, wait, no. These guys are immune to bleeding. Okay. I didn't even pay attention to that. You won the path to the Glock and the hideout. It's now unobstructed. Great. <laughs> Hard times for not Glock and Spiel businesses. Keep out. Is that a... The owner of this place added a huge wasp nest to the keep out sign. <laughs> Leave the... Di uh, no. Nah, I'll get inside. <laughs> <laughs> what is that animation? That is the best thing ever. Oh, I'm not fighting them. I can actually walk through. This goblin looks a bit tougher than the others. Also, they're at the back of the room, so probably the boss. They look delighted and outraged to see you, since that's a tricky combination of motion to imagine. Let's just go with excited. Talk to him. As you step up closer to speak to the goblin, you notice that they appear to be wearing an authentic German leaderhosen rather than the makeshift shorts and suspenders get up that the Glocklands are wearing. Not that you're an expert in traditional European fashions or anything, though. They sneer at you with glittering eyes. So, you break at my house in and beat my guards together. Think you can, Gunther, the boss of Glocklands, defeat? You pause for a moment to parse this. Yes? Without a doubt, actually, I just want to talk. I didn't have any particular intention, I just kind of go places. Ha! You think goblins are pretty stupid, I bet. But yeah, you have one what they think coming. If I feel like having <laughs> a conversation without goblin intelligence, can I just say yes when we fight? Sure. Then yes, goblins are super dumb. No, I know goblins aren't as dumb as they seem. Oh yes, yes, what do you know about that, huh? Well, I read a magazine article about it once. A lot of it went over my head. Basically, since goblins are fungal creatures instead of mammals, their brain works pretty differently, but they can find it really hard to extrapolate from familiar experience to unfamiliar ones. So when they're dealing with novel situations, they tend to just make wild guesses about how they're supposed to behave. Oh, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> That's enough. 
Furthermore, because the way they pass knowledge to their children, goblins always have really excited about doing novel experiences, so they're constantly putting themselves in situations where they have no idea what to do deliberately. Okay, in fact, I know much about it, and I'm a little impressed. Why know through so many things? I was stuck in a dentist's waiting room for a while and didn't have anything else to read, so now what? Okay, well, you have proven that you goblins are not dumb, you think, but that was really a rhetorical question. I guess I was showing off a little. Yes, so we leave height now, yes. Yes, uh, all the Glocklins in here are playing an excited Glockenspiel fight music could get Gunther riled up. This might be a really tough fight. Is there a peaceful solution to this? A peaceful solution for you and my home invading? I suppose you want that I'd let you just leave? Uh, I guess that does seem unrealistic. What's the other option do? Because I do want to fight. Um, yes. Okay, bye! What, really? No! <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this animation so much. Alright. Let's fight him. Oh, it's just a 1v1? Oh my god, that is ridiculous amounts of HP. That's absurd. That is ridiculous. Well, I should probably lower his stats and then beat the crap out of him. Okay. Uh, that decreases by 5. Okay, that does less damage considerably. And then you're gonna get spookied. I don't know if I'll be able to win this. And also, I think the bleeding weapon was a really bad choice here. But I mean, this is a pretty strong sword. Yeah, this might be a bad idea. This would be so much more helpful if I could give my s friend weapons. Uh, I don't know if that'll work, because he's just going to probably one-shot it. Let's try it. Okay, and then you're going to get rocked. And then you're going to get sorted. Yeah, okay, that, yeah, that was a mistake. Okay, I do like the healing, though. I do still have a lot of damage I can do to this guy. Um, five, three. Yeah, I'm doing quite a bit of damage here. Yeah, I feel confident that we can win this then, actually. Okay, Gabby. Beat the crap out of him. Show the goblin who's the better goblin. You won. Gunther has spieled his last Glock in this place. He slinks off to find some other venue to terrorize with his plinking. Excellent. Oh, I missed the song. Wow, an upright Glock. An upright Glock on spiel. This look good in your room. Drag it there. <laughs> hey, it's that rug from the boarding house. Miss Brewster must have sent it to you as an additional gesture of gratitude, or because she hates the way it looks and thinks it's cursed. Either way, score. Oh man, I have a bunch of random stuff in here. Your hard one Glockenspiel. Play it. Again. More. Okay. Let's show for knickknack and tchotchkes. An old ragdoll. One of those weird rocks from Dirch's yard has made it to your room. That's probably fine. Oh man, I am beginning to fill this thing up with random crap. Was this flower pot always in here? Plant a tentacle seed in it. It's your little tentacle. Tickle him. I don't like that. I really don't like that. I love visual progress in games, though. That was funny. Um, I didn't check the... I didn't check the uh, dresser stand that was in there, though. You turn a street corner and duck behind a mailbox in time to be avoid being spotted by tin lizzies who are either squatting on a stoop or stooping on a squat. Eavesdrop on them. I'm bored. When's the last time we had a good rumble? Ages, but we got a non-aggression pact with the Doughboys. Big Liz wouldn't like it if we messed that up. What about the Glocklins? Want to fight them? They're too weird. Mm -hmm. You can understand what she's saying. Lean in. <laughs> you lean in. Careful not to be discovered. What? I can't hear with the helmet on. Mm -hmm. Are you eating something under there? A sandwich. Give them what they want. Grease gun. What are the... What are the... Are those wrenches? Okay. Oh, they're actually incredibly weak. Okay, so these are just all damage. These are all damage. 
Biberta, Talanda, Frusafeld, the Whirling Wrench. Okay. Well, that's a lot of damage, so we're just gonna do that, I guess. I should probably buy more combat damage items. Oh my god, my turtle. Dang you, Bronze Holly. Oh no, that's Copper Tammy the Welder. Okay, well you're incredibly weak, Tammy. Nice. I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't think of anything to say during this entire fight, so... I just couldn't think of anything. Concealing yourself behind a trash bin, you wait until the tin ladies have regained consciousness, then limp away and quietly tail them into a back alley chop shop that presumably is their gang hideout. Back alley chop shop is fun to say. The tin ladies chop shop. Gain some XP. Investigate it. Manage to sneak up to the tin ladies hideout without anyone noticing. You aren't going to stay unnoticed for long, though this place is crawling with lizzies. Unless your first move is to turn tail and run, I guess. Hmm. Hey, hi, hello. Wow, look at it. Look at what? Gabby's skin! What? Gabby holds out an arm and her skin looks like it's a little different. Like it's getting tougher and leatherier in place. Ew. Gabby's adapting to the prevalent conditions. Haha. -ha. Gains three physical armor. Hi, I didn't know Gabby could do that. I'm a little jealous. This car looks terrible, but it smells great. Prototype car freshener. This ingenious device consists of a cardboard tree soaked in some kind of nice smelling oil. A couple of tin leaves are being reasonable. Again, my mouth just gave up on words. A couple of tin lizzies are busy trying to dismantle a car that is already pretty thoroughly mantleless. It's like watching someone try to scrape just one more sandwich worth of meat out of a leftover turkey carcass. Get the jump on them. Seven, eight. These guys are so weak. Either that or I'm just powerful because I've been doing all of the side quests. Probably the second one. I like that sound effect. It's very nice and heavy. Okay, I'm going to be honest. We don't need to go through the turtle animation every single time. It's a bit, it's a bit annoying. Considering that my turtle dies in one hit most of the time anyways. Greasy knee pads. If they just made cars taller, working on them would cause a lot less wear and tear on the old knees. Add to armor to pants. Really ought to put it out of its misery. Okay. Maybe that's worse. A greasy toolbox. I got greasy gloves. Plus one sleeves armor. These outside of these gloves are so greasy that it prevents any more grease from reaching the inside. This is such a high quality sharpening stone that it wouldn't even work on things that don't have blades. Ah, plus one bonus damage to a weapon. All. If you see the pointy bit of metal with a wooden handle, that's an all, folks. That's all, folks. God, stupid. Pointy bit of metal with a wooden handle. just an oiled oil barrel since it's open it's full of rainwater fish got more greasy knee pads okay face grease 50 50 mix of engine oil and moisturizer <laughs> useful in both the skincare regimen and a two-stroke engine increase your hot armor You caught something, a filthy rag. You've got enough stuff out of here for now. Given the proportions, it's actually more of a raggy filth. Slap your opponent with it, dealing your muscle and stench damage. That's really strong. Oh, wait, is that like... an offhand item? That's a lot of damage, actually. That's, uh... six. Where is this? Oh, wait, this is still muscle and spooky, but stench. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. A bunch of tin lizzies are hanging out here. Their attention is mainly focused on the something further to the right, but the camera doesn't move far enough for you to see what it is. Push your way through. Yep. Uh-huh. 
Yep, indeed. I'm literally just not concerned at all about how dangerous these people are. just not concerned. These, are, these fights are really easy, because uh, I think I'm pretty over-leveled right now. Yay! You want time to see what all the hoopla is about. Hand washing gasoline. The Tin Lizzie's hands get really dirty, and the only thing that really works to clean them is gas. Increase the damage of your magic weapons by three. And a better turtle. A welding bench, there's a welding mask on top of it. Grab it. Your face will become a better home for it than this dirty bench. This mask will uh, protect your face from being burned while you're welding or kissing candles. <laughs> More like a picked apart truck. Oh, it's Tin Lizzie herself, I guess. A muscular woman with flaming red hair is sitting on a throne made of welded together wrenches and glaring at you. The woman gives you a traditional slow, sarcastic lap, clap as you step forward. Nice entrance. Thanks, nice chair. Thanks, now who the hell are you? <laughs> Introduce yourself aggressively. I'm Trestled Thobes. It'd be, you better remember that name or it'll be the last one you ever forget. You got some high-carbon steel bearings coming in here and talking to Big Liz Studbaker like that, kiddo. I'm the boss of this gang and I don't have to take that kind of crap from anyone. Narrow your eyes. You narrow your eyes and stare. Now considering that you just busted in my scrapyard and beat up five of my girls, plus however many on the way here, I figure you got exactly on what, something on your mind. So what is it? I want to fight. I want your gang to stop attacking me in the street. I want to join your gang. Um, I really didn't have any particular goal. I'll come back when I've decided. Oh man, I can actually make something? I can actually make a decision. Oh. I feel like joining would be fun. I want to join your gang. Sorry, this ain't a gang. It's a business. And I can tell you don't know crank case from a manifold. Um, The crank case is the one with cranks in it. Tell you what, you got this far. My girls ain't no slouches. So I'll grant you a boon. Like a favor? Yeah, within reason. I don't know this is some kind of trick. You can trust me because I'm sitting on the Crescent Throne. That means everything I say is automatically true. Wow, like the Pope? Kind of, yeah. We're into a hierarchy and a ch chain of command around here. Excuse me. <clears throat> I need to cough really badly. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, what if you say you have a million meat? What What if you say black is white? It isn't magic. It's just, look, part of being a good leader is not trying to use your powers in stupid ways. Aw. <laughs> Anyways, you get one wish, so what'll it be? More. You cannot wish for more wishes. Nuts. I wish you to call for your I wish for prizes. I wish to fight you. I wish to sit in your swell chair. Nope. <laughs> Come on, just for a second. Only the boss of the Tin Lizzies can sit on the Crescent Throne. That stinks. I wish for prizes. Well, that's easy enough. Here, there's a shed over here where you can keep spare tools and parts. Help yourself. Chop Shop Shed Key. It's the key to Big Liz's shed at the Chop Shop. Hopefully it's easier to use than it is to say. Neat, thanks. Uh, back are you? You've got all the favorites you're gonna get out of me. I was just in the neighbor, thought I'd say hi. Hi, also bye. Uh, well, I mean, fighting her would be fun, but... She seems like the kind of antagonist that would become a friend, so... The shed door is locked. Unlock it. Go inside. A shelf covered with gear, various greasy metal objects. Anarchist hardware. A collection of pipes and cannon fuse. Well, mostly just pipes and cannon fuse. Anarchy is pretty straightforward. You select the most dangerous looking th pieces of metal. All the grizzly metals are too safe and boring for you to be interested in. There's a car door leaning against the wall. Grab it. It's a car door with an arm strap welded to it. Deal your muscle in physical damage and reduce mysticality by three. It wasn't. It's a battered toolbox. I got another crowbar. Okay. I've. Wait. A door to saloon for ravens or a crate contained tiny cavern. Aren't these all the references from the other crowbar? You never know when you might need to try. Try open two things at once. The poster says antifreeze is delicious, but it's poison. 
This workbench covered in tools makes some stuff. Oh man, fancy combat items. What the hell? <laughs> I can make one of those? That's ridiculous. And it only does 10 damage, that seems pretty weak. I mean, that's really strong, but that's... Shh. You know, why not? I made a bomb. In your face, Oppenheim. Jesus. Make another fancy item. Oh, I can only make two of these, right. Um, reduces physical armor, deals five hot damage, deals five cold damage. Gain three AP. That's a, a potion, right? I guess reducing physical armor, I had some trouble with that. Restore, restore sets an enemy on fire. I like Molotovs. Um, do five cold damage, yeah. I like damage, that's my thing. It's a workbench from tools. A bunch of repair manuals for cars you never heard of, except wielding and welding. Welding and wielding. Advanced weapon repair for do-it-yourself defense by TIG. Teaches advanced weapon repair techniques. Oh, wait. Well, how, wait, how do I repair weapons? Hold on. Well, I have to read the book first, right? Hold on. You read the book, huh? Turns out you're supposed to repair weapons after using them for well. Who knew? Weapon repair aware. You know enough about a weapon to tell when it's needed, but not quite enough to do anything about it. Weapon durability is unlocked. That... Wait... Uh-huh. You go to put the book away, but realize with your newfound knowledge that its spine is broken beyond repair, so you throw it away. Okay. What? That's dumb. Now I have. Now my sword is gonna run out. Ah. Ah, that's stupid. I don't like that. Well, how do I repair it then? Can I do anything? Every day on this calendar just says crimes. Ah, uh, well, now I feel like I should have just fought her. This is stupid. Now my now my weapon's gonna run out. This car has been noticeably chopped yet. They're not chopped yet. Look inside. The doors are locked, dang it. Jimmy the lock. Oh, nice. 120 meat. It's an old school's blacksmith anvil. This must be where they work on the really vintage cars. <laughs> There's nothing in that direction except tetanus. Wait, what's new? Why would this be a thing? That is such a jerk move game. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's go to the boardwalk, because I have a new hat. Gabby takes a piece of candy. Nice. Okay, what is my new hat? Uh, I got the welding mask. Nice. Um, the fedora is still the best one for some reason. What about my accessories? Armor, 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 plus moxie. If I had one that increased my muscle, that would probably be best. I still can't talk to that guy. Can I talk to this guy yet? I have more stats. Yeah, 3L stats and 10 meat. Yep. Alright. You aim at the dart while binding you up your arm for the hammer swing and squinting to the proprietor. Well, you look about 38, but pop, bang, you reek of cigarette smoke, so I'm gonna say 34. Nicely done, right on the money, here's your prize. Some fancy new beach shoes. <laughs> He takes a pair of clogs from under the counter and hands them to you. Crab clogs. These shoes were made at the beach out of materials that were closest at hand. Hooray! Ah, yes. I love this so much. Alrighty. I think that's where I'm going to end this episode right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Shadows Overloading. Subscribe for more videos and leave this like. Or leave a like if you like this video. Bye bye.